Hello everybody and welcome back to World of Waves 2 as we continue our, um, I think it was a battleship engagement. I'm recording these two episodes back to back, but I wasn't really paying attention to what it said. I think it was a battleship engagement. Either way, around Newfoundland. So, we have started actually from our ships, sighting enemy ships. Don't know what that is, but as I mentioned last time, at the very end, it is potentially maybe dreadnought this is the projected route <clears throat> excuse me of two of what were reported to be dreadnoughts uh by one of our scouts this one was actually from the langley it's a little bit south of that projected route but it it's possible it's one of the two dreadnoughts that the enemy have which if I sink those that'll make my life a lot easier or at least cripple them even if I don't sink them I can live with that I'd prefer to sink them but crippling them also works 14 North American Sentinels are approaching an enemy here we go whatever this thing is we got 14 dive bombers coming in on it Also, apparently somewhere we have two friendly harpoons that are attacking meteor uh, torpedo bombers. Which, I don't know where those are. Um, the only place I see two friendly fighter harpoons are over here around the Enterprise, but I'm not actually seeing these so-called torpedo bombers from the enemy. I do see dive bombers though coming in on the Langley, which does not currently have any cap support. I'm going to send the Balch down to provide whatever little assistance it's able to provide. Um, although the Langley has half decent heavy AA factor, uh, it's it's an older design. It will not have the best torpedo bomber defense. These might be dive bombers, but nonetheless, it's kind of a light ship to be honest especially with that two inch deck the enterprise is much better with this nice five inch deck either way let's see if we can identify officially this but all these guys were told to go after enemy dreadnoughts so maybe this is an enemy dreadnought or at least they think it is and i see two the report was two the enemy has an estimated two dreadnoughts. This might be their dreadnoughts. At least here somewhere are their dreadnoughts. They may have more ships there, however. Oh no, okay, the Langley did get some cap support now. Okay, that's wonderful. Uh, where's the Missouri? It's heading north, but it looks like you need to actually head west-ish. Northwest, actually, I think, and you guys are gonna head also west-ish, but a little more... a little bit to the north, not much. It's identified a heavy cruiser. Also... Four dive bombers from the Enterprise. Dive bomb enemy unidentified ship. CV, CV, DD, CV, CA, CA, fire heavy AA. One aircraft of mine is destroyed and no bomb hits. Okay. But this points to all three of their CVs being here with two armored cruisers and a destroyer. This is gold, potentially, for me. I have three destroyers, which can get in and knock out those CVs relatively easily. Oh, also, before I forget, let me get my timer started. It's a good thing I just remembered that. Um, as I was saying, <laughs> before I just remembered to get my timer started, I have three DDs. Those could go in, launch torpedoes on those CVs. They may not destroy them, but they will cripple them, and they will but more than likely end up sinking from flooding. The New York, Huron, and Northampton need to, at the bare minimum, 
distract those two armored cruisers while my DDs move in. And somewhere in here is a destroyer. Uh, somewhere else over here, three of my dive bomber sentinels from the Enterprise have launched a dive bombing attack on an enemy dreadnought. So somewhere over here is an enemy dreadnought. Uh, game's not uh, zooming in particularly close, but it's somewhere right around this marker. And that would seem to be accurate. It looks to be escorted by three dread or three destroyers rather. Uh, no bomb hits, but none of my aircraft got it uh, damaged or destroyed in that run, which is great. Another run, we got a bomb hit on a dreadnought over here, but one of our aircraft did get damaged from light AA. But that's great. We got a bomb hit. So they are going to be hurting. Made another run with dive bombers. Uh, nothing. But we also didn't lose anything, so that's fine. Also, apparently there's a Corvette mixed in there now instead of three destroyers. Enemy aircraft approaching Carrier Division 10, which is the Enterprise and Wasp. That would look to be these guys. They don't have any cap up right now. I'm gonna bring the Langley in as well. But you guys have 64 heavy AA factor together. I think you can dissuade eight torpedo bombers from making that run. And there we go. New York has identified an unknown ship as a CV. So here we go. We got a CA that looks like it might be hurting because it doesn't seem to be moving much. Another CA, a DD, CV, CVL, okay. Uh, if, yeah, if memory serves correctly, they had two CVs and three or four CVLs, something like that. So that was a misreporting from our dive bombers that came in that they had three CVs. One of them is actually just a CVL. Yeah, you seem to be hurting. We may not have had any bomb hits, officially. But you might have got hit by some shrapnel or something from the bomb being so close, potentially. Uh, five enemy torpedo bombers did attempt to run. Uh, destroyed one with medium AA and destroyed another with light AA. We had 64 combined... Heavy A factor from the Enterprise and the Wasp, which makes sense because again, that is actually directional. That is not 64 on all sides, despite how much I wish it was. It's sadly just 32, 32. And in this case, it must have come at an angle that the Wasp had shots as well. Wasp was avoiding torpedoes, but the Wasp did get hit twice. Decent flooding, but nothing too significant. Uh, let's see. So, uh, yeah. 21 flooding, that's not tons, but that does kind of hurt. Okay, we're identifying these. Okay, you may not have been hit, but you are just going slow, potentially. I'm not quite sure. Because I'm not seeing any obvious signs of damage on you. North American Sentinels approaching enemies. More coming in on our destroyers, or our carriers, rather. Wasp is dealing with that flooding very admirably. More coming in. Dive bombers and more dive bombers. Actually, dive bombers are kind of easier to deal with, I think, than torpedoes because, you know, they come in straight above you for a run. They either hit or they don't. There is no avoiding torpedoes and then getting hit by one of those torpedoes you attempted to avoid. Ah, but 
shit, they do actually, in fact, have torpedo bombers. Uh, we are doing quite a bit of damage. I don't know. Uh, no bomb hits on a enemy CVL that is apparently further north. Apparently. Uh, they did damage us a little bit. Luckily, it looks like we may be able to hit their... CV line, which is great if I can, because holy crap, that'll make life easier. Uh, do I want you to focus on those armored cruisers, though, or do I want to turn your attention to that charger class? And those don't have 100 aircraft. I'm certain of that. Also, I they do have catapults, which sucks. I don't know if I actually have the uh, charger class here in my... No, I do not. Yeah, so evidently I do need to update my spreadsheet. But I'm fairly certain you're not fitting 100 aircraft on 9,700 ton. Um, well, actually, yes, I suppose you could if you give it literally no armor. Holy crap, that thing is just... It's a glass cannon. It really is. So if I can just get my CAs a little bit closer... Two Brewster Bearcats are approaching enemy ships. And more guys coming, but they're coming for my battle cruisers now. Which those should be fine. Wait, why the hell are you talking about bear cats? Oh those are, okay, those are the torpedo bombers. I was not paying any attention to that. Okay. Uh you're coming in on that CVL, it looks like. More North American Sentinels coming in. Uh you guys have anybody just twiddling their thumbs a little bit, but nothing too significant for launching aircraft, so we'll hold off. Please get some hits, guys. If you can hit these guys, that'd be grand. Oh, uh, how are you guys doing? You seem to be doing fine. Holy crap, those torpedo bombers are disappearing. Okay, you're kind of outrunning my guys, which is a little annoying. Uh, because apparently I was going cruising speed. That would explain why you're outrunning me. Wasp, avoid, 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 avoid. Oh, foo-hoo, wasp, you are one. Oh, okay, you got a fire. Well, fire can be dealt with. Uh, more torpedoes, not so much. Yeah, that charger, if I can get to it, that'd be great, because that thing's just going to sink. Also, you seem to be damaged, buddy, or you're just going slow. I really can't tell. Enterprise took a hit. Damn. So both my nice fancy ones have taken hits, but that, was, that Torpedo Protection 4 is paying off. It really is. Uh, unidentified ship, I'm going to assume that those are going to be the Dreadnoughts, which kind of sucks, because, yeah. I'm not in a position to deal with those right now. Um, I'm assuming 16-inch guns, so those will those will hurt. Five and a half inches of belt with magazine box or two inches of deck. That, that ain't cutting it. I'm going to tell you to break off. Try to minimize the risk of you getting attacked by that. If you at all can. Uh, normally I don't try to launch these under numbered uh, aircraft squadrons, but I might end up doing that. Because we see their stuff now. Which is what I was looking for. Uh, oh. Uh, Enterprise, you dealing with that flooding nicely? Yep, it's already dealt with. Wonderful. Uh, Wasp is struggling a little with that fire. It did spread. Well, actually, technically it didn't. That was when it started. 
Sadly, it doesn't say like fire started. It's always fire spreads. But what if you weren't on fire before? How does it spread? Well, uh, magic. Okay, 12 guys coming in on you. Very least, you'll knock them off course from coming after my armored cruisers, but I'd love for you to actually hit them if you could. That would be the best thing ever. I know one of these guys allegedly took a bomb hit. More guys coming in on my cruiser or uh, aircraft carriers. I'm going to transition you to following the... Oh, I don't have an option for assigning you to the Enterprise, apparently. That sucks. Are you guys in different wings? Y you are. S or, uh, or different forces, rather. The Langley is actually considered part of the U.S. main force, alongside the Balch here, which is the reason why that they can be assigned to each other. That's not the case, however, with the... Um, Enterprise, however. The Enterprise and the Wasp are actually part of the carrier fleet. Which, interestingly enough, most of their stuff is... Uh, yeah. <laughs> uh, you guys... You know what? I'm going to set you to AI controlled. Get back down there. Um, screen position or formation. Get back down there. We need more heavy AA around there. Although I don't think you have much, do you? Oh no, 44. Yeah, that's a decent amount. Although you're mean Apples. Do I want to send you? Well, yeah, you're the other ones I can send actually, so I guess I will. This guy in the back, I'm thinking, might be the Dreadnought that took a bomb. Uh, Huron's taking a hit. From a, yep, 16-inch disabled, or it's jammed the A turret, apparently. They are really coming in. Wasp, I need you to deal with that fire. They are really coming in on these guys. And the Bulge doesn't have much. In terms of heavy AA factor that it can contribute, but you know what? That extra three is always helpful. Even if it's not particularly useful. Oh, New York has taken a hit. Uh, lower belt edge. Okay, well, lucky you. Start deploying smoke. You guys gotta get in there. You turn. Wasp took another hit. Oh, and that one is really bad. Wasp is gonna break off. It's leaving. It's out of here. It's going to Halifax. It's taking way too much damage. More of our guys are approaching enemy ships. Ah, uh, that's you guys. Wasp has finally dealt with the fire. Now they just got to deal with the tons of flooding. Yeah, taking hits by two torpedoes. Yeah, that's going to hurt. So that's going to cut down our CVs, sadly. Uh, oh, no. Yeah, so you're the one who took it. And that, well, I'm assuming you're the one who took it. Because you have a disabled, not destroyed, but disabled front turret. And yeah, the other one's in perfect health. At least in terms of its guns, so I think the uh, Vermilis here is the one that took it. The Collingwood is still okay. Now the question is if I can just get their dreadnoughts to go east towards my battle line. 
That'll make my life much easier if I can get them to do that. You guys are capped out at 30. Is that... Okay, that is in fact your actual cap. It's not because you have one ship slowing you down. Because if it's an older class. Break off more. Go Ark Royal. Supposedly 100 aircraft, apparently. I... Um, I think you'd struggle to actually put 100 aircraft on 17,200 tons with 8 7 inches, 10 3 inch dual purpose, 6 inch belts, 2 and a half inch deck, 3 inch turrets, unless you have literally no conning tower armor and things like that. I don't think you actually have 100 aircraft on that game. I, th I think you're just saying 100 aircraft for everything because you like the number 100. But it looks like we are now actually forcing their dreadnoughts east, which is great, because that gets them to my battle line, though the Missouri is the only one who's particularly good at that, and it's a little far behind. And for some reason the Perkins broken off from the other group. I'm not quite sure. Um You You need to ready for a strike. Up here, actually. Hmm. Yeah, no. Support our dreadnoughts. Uh, you, you have just fighters. The wasp, yeah, it doesn't have anything really on board right now, so that's fine. Battle cruiser is going south for some reason. Coming for Battle Division Twenty Five, the Missouri. Those are flying boats. Okay, the Missouri should be able to deal with that, I would think. Okay, we're firing uh, with the Lexington on their dreadnoughts now. And the New York is taking hits, uh, presumably from that battle cruiser there, but might actually be able to get my guys in. I'd actually be able to get my dreadnoughts in. Or not dreadnoughts, damn it. Destroyers. Do I go south? Yeah, we're gonna go for the Arc Royale. The Dasher and Charger, those are CVLs. Uh, the Arc Royal is... That's an actual CV. I'm sinking that. Lexington, are you doing anything? No idea right now. Straddling the target. What's your hit chance, Lexington? Uh, 2.27. Yeah, you're probably not doing anything anytime soon. Now, who's firing on the Baltimore? Is that maybe the follow? Potentially. Come on, Arc Royal. No, 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 no. Arc Royal, I want you to keep heading towards me. Oh shit, the Lexington lost one of its forward turrets. Uh, turn a little bit so you have more turrets. Enemy ship is hit by a dreadnought, or by a torpedo. Yes! <laughs> there we go. Great job, guys. Beers are on the Admiralty. I don't know which one it is that took that. All I know is it was a dreadnought of theirs. But that's gonna hurt them. That'll make my life a little easier. I just need to get the frickin' Missouri up here. Which has taken a bomb hit. Uh, one th okay, they actually have a thousand pound bombs, which kind of sucks. I, I'm guessing it hit, but did nothing. It just says a thousand bomb superstructure hit splinters perforate uptakes. So I'm assuming it did not detonate. It hit something, went straight through, splintered the area, which I don't know where the I I guess it could have, yeah. Because again, this is the maximum armors for things. It's not necessarily what's everywhere, so I've got no idea what happened. Where it hit. It hit somewhere on the superstructure, that's all I know.
I don't think the Collingwood's the one that took the torpedo, but I don't know for certain. I'm not a big fan of all those destroyers coming south. Oh, and Lexington. Yeah, you're kind of hurting. Oh, your bridge got damaged and... Apparently fire started. But you extinguish it immediately, which is great training on you guys. Yeah, you don't have particularly good hit chances, to be honest. You guys kind of seem like you couldn't hit the broad side of a barn. Yeah, I think the Romillus is the one that took that bomb, and it's the one that took the... Um... Torpedo as well, I think. Continue focusing on their see Okay, uh... Somebody was readying stuff. Did it not ready? It did not ready, I don't think. You guys still readying? I swear I set somebody to go. Okay, well you have these guys. Get them ready. They're going up here. Yeah, I, I swear there was a group that I was telling to get ready, but they're not showing up here. And I did not tell them to launch, so I know that they didn't launch. Uh, oh well. <laughs> uh, oh, you guys have some stuff that's going. Uh, yeah, you guys get ready too. Uh, were, oh, were they maybe on the Wasp? No, that doesn't seem right. Because I did it after the Wasp separated, so yeah, that wouldn't make any sense. God damn, Lexington. Yeah, uh, these these battle cruisers of ours, they're going to take a pounding. They, they really are. There's nothing I can do about that. Come on, guys. Close with the Ark Royal. And then drop another one onto the formidable there. Yeah, one torpedo, that'll hurt them. Now, you guys have torpedoes. If that Invincible is going to head straight towards you, I just need you guys to avoid taking any serious damage. Oh, we lost the X turret now as well on the Lexington. Lexington ain't doing so hot. Constitution, though, is being shot at, but it ain't hold but it's holding up much better than the Lexington is. Uh, start deploying smoke. Oh, did your engine get it? Yeah, your engine took a hit there. Yeah, that bomb, wherever it was, it affected your engine. That's why you're slowing down now to just 24 knots instead of 27, which is your max. Come on, Baltimore. Baltimore and Chicago, this is your chance. This is your chance to prove yourselves as the best of the best Chicago classes that are still in service, because I think you're the only ones, but that's besides the point. You got a nice juicy battle cruiser coming head on at you and it's not turning this is making life so much easier oh and the le the constitution is now taking actual hits that are actually doing shit i should note on um, arc royal now i'm not a big fan of it, these destroyers also coming in baltimore do you have the shot if you have this shot take it you do take it i don't think the chicago has the shot right now though you have a low we're not going to do that it turned baltimore took a torpedo and now it's outside the firing arc of the chicago Baltimore, you're going to leave? 
Oh god, the Lexington is fucked if it doesn't get out of there. Yeah, Lexington, you're breaking off. You are way too badly damaged. You are going east to minimize engagements. Uh, okay, nope. The game just was not showing you guys for reasons that are unbeknownst to me. Either way, got nice juicy targets for you guys right up here. So, uh, no coordinated strike. You launch strike. You are not ready to go yet. Perkins is attempting to get in. You are making smoke. It ain't helping. Baltimore, if you can survive, that would be the best thing ever. But I don't think you will, to be honest. <laughs> I, I think that's going to have hurt a little too much for you to survive, sadly. You know, I'm kind of getting the vibe that the enemy is not using Fox uh, Magazine for reasons. Got a shot on the Ark Royal. That's not a great shot, though. Oh, well, shit, did it just ram you? Uh, no, you took seven inch shell. It sure as hell looked like more, more like it rammed you, but evidently that it was not the case. Stuart, do you have a shot at the formidable? No, you don't. Not anymore. We did set a fire on the Ark Royal, though. I know, Lexington. That's why you're leaving. Or, you know, at least trying to. I don't think you have a particularly high chance of success, all things considered, but I still want you to try. Baltimore is also attempting to get the hell out of Dodge. You, you need a turn. And Lexington flooding just increased, so it ain't, it ain't getting home. I'm trying to get it out of the range of those guns. Which is why I have you going so damn fast, but evidently that ain't gonna work. So go 10 knots. You still have a chance of blowing a bulkhead. Formidable took two torpedoes. Wonderful. You, before you sink, just get whatever off at literally anything you can find. Stuart, you got a shot at the Ark Royal. Take it. One of your torpedo tubes got destroyed. Cater is sinking. Can you get a torpedo off before you officially sink? You can try. It's probably not going to hit, but... Literally no reason not to try. Oh, those might hit. And we're getting hits on the Invincible, but we're not doing anything, really. Lexington can't get that fire and flooding under control. It ain't gonna last very long. You guys? Here. Coordinated strike. Launch. Stewart and McCall are sinking. Those look like they should be hits, but the game has screwed me before. Who knows? Yeah, McCall isn't getting any. Decatur's down. Reed, I... Oh, those are the ones from the Decatur, I guess. You keep making smoke. Baltimore's trying to get out of there. Chicago is going to turn in on the Invincible. 
We'll see just how invincible the invincible is. Google is sinking. Two hits on the invincible. Lightly damaged. They might actually have some decent torpedo protection. We're going to take a lot of damage, especially among the smaller ships, it's looking like. Uh, despite my best efforts to, you know, just generally minimize losses. They just have way too much shit, to be honest. And they got real lucky with their hits on the Wasp. Which still has some flooding, but it's dealt with most of its issues. Does it have anything it can launch? Uh, no. Uh, Enterprise still has some stuff. Get those ready. Lexington, you don't have really anything right now, so don't bother. Missouri, you turn. Those shots on the Invincible are going to hurt, but it's going to live. More than likely. We're gonna hurt those CVs at the very least. Arc Royal is gonna go down. Formidable is gonna be out of commission for a couple months. Arc Royal took another torpedo. From what? Oh, did he get hit by- oh, it might have got hit by an enemy torpedo. In which case, great. Screw them. Uh, the Remulus damage but it'll survive the calling wood also damaged but will survive it didn't take anything significant in terms of damage do you fire any torpedoes nope okay i kind of figure but i was hopeful okay that guy's that guy's gonna sink If I can get them to blow a bulkhead on the Invincible, that will definitely help. You guys go south. Chicago's on fire. That You know what? That does not shock me in the slightest that Chicago's on fire. Lexington, even if, if it manages to survive, it's, it's going to be out of commission for a good long while. You were on Northampton are going to try and get it the hell out of here. Blew up one of their destroyers. Wonderful. The Remillus is apparently coming back down. It's decided I'm not done with you guys yet. You know, I never realized that Missouri's guns actually outrange its radar, and I think that will always be the case. Uh, still waiting. Did you guys manage to launch your stuff? Uh, I guess so, yes. Wonderful. We've got 12 coming in for something or other. I wasn't paying attention. Where do I have 12? Right there. And like Cruiser Division 27 is... Oh, yes. The Chicago. Which again, is on fire, unshockingly. Although it's likely to be taking a torpedo now anyway, so really. I don't know why you're bothering. 
Uh, got some bomb hits on CAs, not that I care about those. I'm telling you guys here. Launch strike. Chicago's still on fire. You are still on fire. Oh, you're probably going to sink as the fire. Lexington, come on, get that fire under control. Okay, you're starting a little bit, but you could be better. Uh, Stewart and New York have taken torpedoes, apparently. Because for every reason they had decided to spend torpedoes on ships that are already definitely sinking. There's not much reason for it to suspect otherwise. What are you firing out of curiosity? Uh, HE, and you have a 10 out of 10 chance of hitting. Granted, again, I don't believe that's out of 10. It's probably actually out of 100, considering the base is 23 for you. Oh, and you guys actually have a quality crew. If you set a fire on the Ramillus, that'll help. At least a little. Lexington... Yeah, you got that one rear gun that's defiantly firing back at the Ramillus. It ain't doing anything, but you know, it's... You're trying, and I suppose it's what counts. Okay, so something about nine. Oh, a pe why the hell are you all way hell up there? Unless you're going for the Collingwood. Which is down here, so no, you're not going for the Collingwood. I don't know what the hell you guys are going for, but it sure as hell ain't what I told you to go for. And it sure as hell ain't in the neighborhood of what I told you to go for. You know what? I will laugh hysterically if the Lexington manages to get a shot off that flash fires the Ramillus and destroys it, or hits the magazine, or something ridiculous like that. That would be the best send off for the Lexington, because otherwise it ain't surviving. And yeah, Chicago fires rage out of control. Again, shocking to nobody. Oh, and the Lexington's rear turret has now been disabled and you have six fires. I'm honestly shocked the game hasn't decided to just sink you. You know, what with six fires? Most things, typically, when you hit 5, the game says, Nope, your fires are out of control. And Lexington is sinking. Sadly did not manage to get that ridiculous... Uh, Langley, no, 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 go south, Langley. And Enterprise, you go south too. Please, get the hell out of there. Actually, go southeast for you, because you're a little too close to that enemy dreadnought that's coming in. No, no, Enterprise, god damn it, you're not going to save the day if you're dead. I mean, freaking Star Trek hasn't been made yet, so y you can't be trying to pull a freaking Kirk. Again, you guys are so far away from your targets, like, holy crap, how is it so bad that you guys can't get anywhere near your targets? Like seriously, I tell you to go for dreadnoughts that are in this area and somehow you end up so far north, it's absolutely ridiculous.
Okay, unsighted enemy ship took a torpedo hit. That's great and all. Baltimore is sinking. Ah, wasp. Go south. But admittedly, you're not going to run out the Ramillas, sadly, Missouri. It's faster than you, especially when you're damaged like you are. So unless you get a nice, good, clean shot off on it, you ain't doing anything. You're getting hits, but nothing significant from the looks of it. Yeah, I... I don't care, game. Enemy ships approaching the wasp. Which has already been through hell and back. Claim medium damage. And now light damage. You guys are ready. Now again, I'm going to tell you to attack something that's down here. 17 nautical miles to the west. Do not go north. Do not go east. Do not go northeast or southeast. Go west or southwest. I don't know why this is going to be a difficult concept for you all, but I know it will be. If anything, the way aircraft work is the biggest problem I have with this game. It is not intuitive in any way. And they, they just end up so far off target half the damn time. Uh, wasp southeast. Once you guys launch, you're heading east. But please launch quickly. Keep landing hits on the Ramillas, but we ain't doing anything to it, evidently. Have you guys launched? Large tell. I have no idea. Oh, are you freaking picking people up right now? I need you to be launching. Here you go. And Missouri's A turret has been disabled. As well as apparently the Y turret has jammed. So less guns firing at the Ramillas now, which sucks. Uh, no bomb hits and we did no damage. doesn't shock me in the slightest, to be honest. You guys, again, you got a target right here. Leave the frickin' Enterprise alone. And Enterprise is on fire, but it dealt with it very quickly compared to the Wasp, which took an age and a half to do it. And Missouri's radar has been disabled. Uh, it was already disabled previously. Did your radar? No, your radar hasn't been disabled. You just... We've lost sight of it, apparently. That's all that can be said. Oh, sh shit. East, damn you, east. Forget all that shit, go east.
forget the frickin' aircraft. Okay. Ignore it all. I don't care that you want to launch shit. Just stop. Get the hell out of there. I don't know why- Again, the problem I have with aircraft in this game, the only issue I have with it, is that it's- when you, Especially when you don't have catapults for your aircraft carriers, it really screws with you because your guys have to fly into the wind to do pretty much anything. And that presents problems when you try to tell them to get the hell away from the enemy. Because they keep trying to launch or land aircraft. Which just results in them constantly trying to sail straight into the enemy again. Despite that being completely against your orders. Oh, we got a bomb hit apparently. With the second run there, which is great. Not that it's going to do anything because it's far too late. Uh, Missouri's gotten its guns back. Go ahead, try it. You guys, I'm not even going to bother. No, no, not going to tell you to even try to get your guns up in operation or your aircraft up in operational. Screw it. I want you to focus on getting the hell out of here. Apparently the wasp still has some flooding. It's ever so slowly flooding, and I can't tell it to speed up because if I do, it'll blow a bulkhead. So we're probably going to lose the wasp, which sucks because these are our fancy expensive CVs. Stop. Launch. I wish you could just disable cap entirely. I really freaking do. You know, add in an option here for none. Period. You have an option for no search. Add an option for no cap. That way I stop freaking launching this shit that I don't want launched. That's causing the Enterprise to try and sail straight into enemy dreadnoughts. Despite that being a terrible idea... Also, the game's claiming heavy damage to the Collingwood. That is horseshit. Also, it's claiming 60 aircraft on those, which is also horseshit. If those things have 60 aircraft on them, they should not have either any ammo, or they should not be as heavily armored as they are. Because there is no way in hell you fit 60 aircraft on 46 some odd thousand ton, or 42 some odd thousand ton dreadnoughts. And equip them with 16 inch guns, 10 of them. Or 8 in the case of the, the Romillus. Again, you don't put 60 aircraft on that with that heavy of armament without having literally no armor. It is the only way that works. That is about to fall. This will increase our enterprise. Go! Also, Wasp, slow down to 10 so you don't blow a bulkhead. So that battle could have gone better, but, you know, we kind of got screwed because our air wings kind of suck balls at doing anything. So, we sunk some destroyers, and we did end up sinking both their CVs into CVL. I'm not quite sure exactly how the score ended up the way it was, let's be honest here. That's a bit of a drastic difference. They sunk one of my battle cruisers, a couple armored cruisers, a couple light cruisers, and some destroyers. I sunk both of your CVs and two of your three CVLs that you had in this um, area. Honestly, I think I should have won that, even if only just barely. Especially since also when you add in all the aircraft that they lost. They lost, what was it, 141 aircraft in total. And many of those were lost on ground slash ship, which indicates that they were refueling or rearming or whatever when I sunk those CVs.
Uh, heavier depth charges. Yay. We sunk an enemy sub. Yay. Now, technically, we're still winning the, uh, the war. Not as much as we were previously. And they're blockading us now. So we're going to stop the invasion of Bermuda to save some money because there's literally no reason to be bothering with it anymore. And accelerate reconstruction of the new shit. We need to get all this out as fast as we possibly can. Resume construction of you and accelerate your construction. Wonderful. Unexpected advancement in explosive shells, which improves our heavy AA effectiveness. Not that that helps much. And our new fighters are up. Wonderful. Kind of liking the Lockheed, to be honest. Yeah. That Lockheed looks to be the best. It's the fastest. It does not have the most range. The North American has a bit more. Actually, we're going to go with the North American. It's not as maneuverable as the Lockheed, but it has the same firepower, it has more range, it has, it's literally the exact same speed as the Lockheed. Same toughness, the Grumman is a little bit tougher, but I don't really care for that extra toughness to be honest. I care more for the speed and range as a general rule of thumb. Um, and firepower is also nice, the Grumman has the same firepower. The Brewster is worthless, to be honest. That firepower, no thanks. Ah, Jesus. Okay, well, apparently they have abandoned this theater yet again. They've gone back home, at least for the most part. They are now blockaded, or is it because they're blockaded that I'm no longer blockaded? I'm not sure, because it's a little hard to tell. Uh, but I need to move some stuff to the Central Pacific. We'll move some of those rushes over there to fill in gaps. Those will, That'll take, what, four or five turns, something like that? One, two, three, three turns? Okay. I know, game. We're working on it. Cruiser action. Uh, how about... No. Convoy attack. Why do you have a pre-dreadnought, apparently? Uh, we found out some stuff about their float plane scout. Not particularly relevant information. Got information on the Hermes. Which is... 57 aircraft. And, okay, they have the nice... Fancy electro optical directors. Six oh yes, six inch auto autoloaders. Not that that's particularly helpful. And smoke generators for all ships. Wonderful. And Vault has a new model of the Vindicator that they just gave us a new model last year. Let's see. This one is faster, has more range, not by much, but hey, it's something, and that's it. So last time they improved the firepower or toughness or something. Now they're improving the speed and the range. I'll take it. Because again, no reason to say no. New dive bomber, this time from Brewster. This is a private venture that they did. More, It's faster. Slightly more range, not by much. And it carries a nice fancy 1,000 pound bomb instead of 600. Yeah, we're going to take that. Also, wow. Those North Americans are very reliable, apparently. I never knew how reliable they were, but apparently they are very reliable. Also, they've... Why are they no longer blockaded? Because they moved their shit back to North American East Coast. God damn it, they can't make up their mind where they want it to be. We're working on a game. No. No. Uh, do I want to wait the extra month? It's only one month. Fuck it. Yes, you can have it. France is wanting to buy stuff. Sure. British medium bombers. 1,500 pound bombs. And Italy's fascist and they do fascist things, which rise, 
which increased tensions again. And Vought has a new float plane scout. It is faster, has a bit more range. Actually, somewhat noticeable improvement, but not significant. Uh, poor reliability still. An enemy sub has torpedoed our ship Garbage Lighter number 4. I'm sorry. I don't think we have a ship called that, unless we're looking at merchant ships. In which case, who the hell names their merchant ship Garbage Lighter number 4? Yeah, they got their shit here in the North American East Coast. Come on, guys, take New take Newfoundland. And this will make life so much easier for everybody because then we just got to worry about Bermuda. And Bermuda is such a small thing that it's probably easier for me to deal with than Newfoundland. We're working on it, game. And convoy defense. Unexpected battle. I don't want to fight this, though. God damn it. Ah, oh, fuck, I got my battle cruiser, so this is actually going to be a cruiser engagement of some sort. God damn it. I don't know why you guys are so far south. Yeah, you guys are way the hell out of position. Like, really? Columbia, Minneapolis, why are you so far south? There is no reason to be so far south. Get the Cincinnati over there with the Constitution because the Lexington sunk and the Constitution is going to want revenge for the sinking of the Lexington. It doesn't care what it gets that revenge on, it's getting its revenge. On literally anything it can. Now we know there are two things there at bare minimum, and holy crap, there's everything else. Those look like destroyer, yeah, destroyers. They're moving a little too fast to be anything else, I think. Of course, because Columbia and Minneapolis are so out of position, they're not going to be particularly useful. God, and they have way too many frickin' destroyers here. We're not gonna go and directly engage them. If they continue to come towards us, we will engage, but I'm not gonna go out of my way to move to engage them. My mission objective is just to make sure they don't sink my shit. That is the only thing that matters. If they choose not to engage me, I, w I am perfectly content with that. Now we've lost radar on them. We're going to slow our guys down to 20 knots. Probably not going to get radar on them again though, because I think we're still going a little too fast, especially if they're going to continue to head southish or eastish or whatever the hell direction they're choosing to head in. Let's see if we can get radar again on them with the Cincinnati and the Balch. I'm kind of getting the feeling they- oh, oh, shit. How the hell did they end up over there? God damn, that's fast. Constitution. Literally don't care what it is. Fire on it. I wish I could tell you to just not give a crap. I really do. Because I really don't give a crap. Again, the way the game works, we already know it's hostile. It's just waiting for proper identification. I can say with certainty that that is not a random friendly AI controlled division that is sailing towards us. Oh, well shit, turns out it was. That is actually surprising to say the least. Normally the game does a good job. I probably should have noticed from that marker, but uh, for all I knew, that marker there was referring to the transports themselves. 
That was my timer that was just about to go, or that went off, but uh, we'll let this run a little bit long. See if they actually choose to engage or not. Like, seriously guys, you're just kind of going in circles down here. Although I'm not a big fan of you actually now coming for my CLs, thank you. Back off, nobody wants anything to do with you, thank you very much. Everybody in the world hates the British right now, okay? You're picking on little old me after you literally lost a war against me, my allies. You're lucky my allies are less than worthless in terms of actual effectiveness. Now, I'm pretty sure they did not detect me all the way down there, and that's why they decided to hang south instead of coming up and actually engaging the transports initially. So... Unless the AI is getting magical cheat powers to know where my ships are. Uh, I don't know why they were hanging south. Because I can't think of a good reason for them to hang south like they were. We should pick them back up on... Radar, I have slowed down now to 16 knots. They were, I think, still going. Now, I'm not a big fan of my dreadnoughts over here going down in that direction. Like, please don't. I don't want you to engage. This is why I hate AI-controlled divisions as well. They are stupid and I have no control over them. And I hate that. Yes, turn around my dreadnoughts. Do not go down there. You don't want to mess with those guys. We don't know what they are. It's probably a swarm of destroyers. I don't want you messing with those. Because I'm pretty sure you're my last freaking dreadnoughts. I might have one in Southeast Asia. I'm not sure. But I'm basically down to just the two of you. So could you just not? Thank you very much. But I get the feeling the AI did actually have magical cheat powers to know exactly where my CLs were that were way out of position. Because now that all of my ships are grouped up, now they're heading north to engage the transports. That they already knew where they were because they already detected them previously, I'm fairly certain. Fuck you, Ramillus. This is for the Lexington. Yep, yeah, you back off. Constitution, go to Philadelphia. Get the hell out of here. You're dead already. From six fucking shots, you're dead. I mean, I, kn I know you're an older battlecruiser. I know that. But seriously, that is some horse shit in terms of accuracy. I'm pretty sure that's the Ramillus again. Y yeah, you, you go back south. You stay the hell away from me. I will launch more torpedoes at you if you come after me. These are probably destroyers or CLs. And of course my dreadnoughts are now pissing off. Again, why I hate AI controlled divisions. Since I do not have control over them, they're going to do shit like that and be worthless. Well, whatever that was, it's probably a cruiser of some sort or up. Because typically you don't get torpedoes on dread or, uh, destroyers as a general rule of thumb. Yes, you can, but it typically doesn't happen. Is at least my experience. I 
I would love for you to just fire your torpedo out in that general direction. I don't really give a shit if you hit anything, to be completely honest. That is completely irrelevant to me. Oh, that's the Invincible. This is also for the Lexington. Fuck you, Invincible. And the Chicago. And the Baltimore. I'm making sure you're dead. Minneapolis, go to Philadelphia. Constitution, you go north as fast as you can, which is now a whopping 13 knots. You guys head back south. You're getting head of the transports. Oh hey, look who decided to show back up again. Our friendly AI controlled dreadnoughts. That might have been useful. Considering, you know, we freaking ran into the enemy. Yeah, you spotted that. That that's a friendly. That's in a That's in a division with this, which is a destroyer escort, more than likely. Not much else it could be. And they're coming back in again. Who else has torpedoes? The Columbia does. But I don't know which side. Well, I think I do actually, because <laughs> one side's destroyed. Uh, Cincinnati, you have both of yours. Wonderful. Constitution, go north, because you're not going that way. These are probably, again, cruisers of some description. Cincinnati, do you have an arc on that? You do. Take it. Well, you didn't hit the one you were aiming for, but you hit something. And those actually might be destroyers. Considering that one torpedo basically just wrecked its speed. So now we're down to just the Columbia because the Cincinnati's going to Philadelphia. It's on fire and fairly heavily damaged. Unless these guys are breaking off saying, screw this shit, we... Our Dreadnought took a torpedo and it hurt. And we lost a battle cruiser. Which, that might actually be the case. They might be breaking off, which in that case, wonderful. Now, Constitution, can you actually try to make it to Philadelphia? Because if so, that would be grand. Yeah, 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 those are our destroyer, or dreadnoughts, rather, excuse me. I always keep screwing that up for some reason. Probably because they're both Ds at the beginning, so I, I just keep wanting to say destroyers when I mean dreadnoughts, and dreadnoughts when I mean destroyers. Days a ways out, so this battle will probably end before day arrives. Oh, are you actually coming back? Please don't fucking be coming. God damn it, they're coming back. Whatever this is. Maybe it's Thromillus. If we can get a... No, that's our guys. God damn it. Quit screwing with me, guys. I also wish the game would just be nice and not mark friendly things as unidentified ships when they're picked up on radar even. I really don't care if that is unrealistic. It's also annoying because then the game's constantly pausing every time I redetect my own shit. So, sunk a battlecruiser, sunk a, yep, a dis uh, destroyer, medium damage to the Ramillus. And... I don't know how the fuck the Ramillus was so damn accurate in that last engagement, considering it has only advanced director, it doesn't have the fancy electromagnetic optical or whatever the hell it's called. That one of their other things had. But there we go, that widens the gap again. The Navy needs money, guys. 
I need, I need an entire fleet to be rebuilt, and there we go, search radar 3. And losing Corvettes and the British subs, because I got none. Sink a large liner. Neutral nation's upset. But that doesn't help me, because I need allies at this point. The only one who I could remotely RP as joining would be the Japanese, and the reality is... Japan ain't gonna be too helpful. They have one Dreadnought. Probably because I kind of wrecked their things before. And they kind of haven't rebuilt completely. Actually, they haven't rebuilt at all. In fact, they seem to be trans deciding to only build battlecruisers now, interestingly enough. Which I can't say I fault them. Technically speaking, battlecruisers are actually the way to go. I'm not kidding when I say that. They are legitimately actually the way to go. Uh, the reason for this is quite simply that the way the game works when it comes to battle generation, battle cruisers can actually fill the space of armored cruisers, or really just cruisers in general, because of the, I think the game actually just looks to see if it's a cruiser or not, and battle cruisers are technically classified as a type of cruiser in this game for the sake of battle generation. And so as a result, dreadnoughts actually if you want to game the system are not worth building really at all you're much better off abandoning dreadnoughts entirely and just building battle cruisers because then you're going to get generally more favorable uh battle generation odds for the simple reason that they will fill the space of cruisers and cruiser en engagements and technically they are a battle line, so they can be competitive against enemy dreadnoughts if you build them properly. Um, and keep them up to date, unlike our constitutions, which are ancient. I mean, frickin' constitution was launched in 1918. It is still in service 30 years later. With upgrades, of course, so it's not exactly as it was, but nonetheless. Now, we have those nice fancy auto-loading 6 inchers. I will probably look into utilizing those. I believe there are auto loaders for 5 inches and I'm not sure if 6 inches get uh, dual purpose in the future. I, I cannot recall for the life of me if that's the case. But 6 inches do get auto loaders. At least in, I swear you said we unlocked that game. Yeah 6 inch auto loaders but does that only work on main guns? Because you didn't let me do it there. If I rebuild these guys, can I give them auto loaders? I could, okay. Auto loading secondaries is probably a separate upgrade. Um, so now I could in theory slap auto loaders on the Minneapolis's because those are literally the only class that has six inch main guns. Um, that'll help them. Uh, a decent amount actually. For the simple re- oh, uh, also, I think you guys can have central torpedoes, right? Because that's max out at 7,000 tons, right? Yeah, okay. Question is just, do I give you a single or do I actually try to fit double on you? Because I don't really know. That's slightly overweight. I'd have to do replace machinery, which puts you out for 10 months, and that's a little too long. What if I don't give you the better director, and I just give you the... R and Q torpedoes? That's still slightly overweight. Technically, I can do it. I just have to remember to send you for a rebuild after this war finally ends. In forever ago, because... Yeah, it ain't ending anytime soon, evidently, because the British refuse to accept defeat. Uh, and I attribute that partly to the lack of proper support from my allies. Who are failing at the whole blockading the British thing. Like, seriously, guys. We're fighting just the British. You guys are based out of Northern... All of you are based out of Northern Europe. Just send your... Put your entire fleets in Northern Europe and just sit there. Just sit there. Use Corvettes to fill out tonnage on foreign station. That's what I do. You literally don't use actual combat vessels for that. Okay? 
You dump your entire combat fleet in Northern Europe and you just blockade them and wait. Either the British have to pull everything to Northern Europe to break the blockade, or they sit there with a ticking time bomb of me and our side gaining 280 VP or whatever the hell it is for a blockade. This makes my life easier because I'm not going to fight the, I'm not going to need to worry about the British much. But, so the New Mexico's are almost done. The Saratoga, I think, was supposed to finish, but it didn't because it was supposed to be a month. And then evidently it turned into more than a month because screw me, right, game? You said they needed a month to give it the better fire control. Oh, how wrong you were. When did the Oklahoma's enter service? 14 months, so a little over a year for the first, or for the Oklahoma. The Arizona's a little bit further behind. Another Saratoga's coming in as well. It's, I don't know, maybe another Wasp coming in. The Lexington, sure. The Lexington has been reborn as a carrier. I'm fine with that, I suppose. Uh, but let's save some money. Uh, cut costs somewhere. Because I kind of want to make money each month right now. So I have more money to throw around later. If you don't mind, game. Thank you. We're going to set all those guys to active. I know that game. We're working on that. Actually... No, I shouldn't have done that. Whatever. I'll off-screen it. I don't need the guys in the Caribbean to do that, or in the Central Pacific, but everywhere else, yeah. Whatever. I'll see you all next time. Until then, goodbye and farewell.